Wayne here with Trent County Locksmith Service, and today we have the Kaba uh, push button lock, the Simplex 1000 series right here. Um, these are great locks because they don't require any batteries um, or any electronics to operate them. So they work really, really well on places that don't see much attention, um, utility buildings. Um, you know, remote locations, stuff like that. And so these are really going to shine and show you how durable they are. Because they can take, you know, the weather, the beating, and the pounding and still work out pretty good. Um, this is the version that has the uh, uh, a bypass feature. Um, that would be this switch here. You can either use the thumb turn or you can use the keyed. Uh, bypass right here. I choose to use the thumb turn because usually people want less keys this day and age now that they more keys. Um, that's just what I've seemed to find. Um, so here's the lock. Uh, it's uh, already program. I already programmed this one. Um, it's fairly easy to program. You just follow the instructions. Uh, on locks 2010 and newer we have this orange piece of paper, and this is a, um, these are the directions to find a lost combination uh, the new way. You don't have to take the chamber apart anymore. You can actually do it by lining up um, the notches from the side that created windows, so you can actually see what you're doing, so you don't have to take that whole thing apart anymore, which is a really nice feature. Um, first thing you're going to need to do is grab your book, and... In your book, you will get this cutout sheet. Okay, so you're gonna need. I, you can rip this right out. That's gonna be where the uh, the main part of the lock goes through, and then these are gonna be the two holes for the bypass and the locking mechanism and the change key. Um, and then you're gonna have these are gonna be one inch holes here. Um, then you're gonna have uh, quarter inch holes here and quarter inch holes there. And then down here you're gonna have your two and an eighth. Um, so any commercial door should be ready to accept this lock. Um, basically what you're going to do is figure out the handing. If the handing, if this, if this was going to be the outside of it, uh, then this lock would be incorrect and you would have to take it apart and turn this over. And I can go over that because that's one of the more difficult things if you have to do this. At least with the knob versions, you can rehand them in the field. Uh, an extremely important point to remember about these locks is that if you order the handled version, the version with the handle that sticks out, you have to order them uh, handing specific because you cannot do this uh, out in the field. You can't change the direction of the lever and the lever will be into your uh, it'll be going the wrong way into the door jam if you don't order the right one. Um, I really stress that because I've done it before. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the back six screws out right here. Then you're going to have these four screws here. What we're going to want to do is pull these out, these four screws. And you only have to do this if you're changing the handing. You do not have to do this on every installation. Sometimes you get lucky and they are handed correctly from the factory. That. And this one here too. Okay. So that one was like that. So what you're going to want to do is this latch is all that you're really concerned about. You're going to want to rotate that 180 degrees to the other side. Okay, just like that. Now it's going to be on this side. Now your lock is handed the opposite of whatever it was before. Put your four screws back in. I just want to go over this because it's a very important part of your installation and eventually you will have to do this and this is going to be the one that takes a little bit of extra time uh, to do this. It doesn't take a whole lot of time 
but I sure do uh, appreciate it when I come to the door and it's already handed properly. Um, so this goes back on here. This shaft, the pin, needs to be vertical up and down to accept into here. So we just slide that right back on. Just like so. Make sure that our other stuff is lined up properly here. You need to make sure that's lined up. Then you're going to need to make sure that your bypass switch is lined up here. That's that there. And then you're going to need to make sure that your changing key is lined up too. And we're going to put these screws back in. Just like so. So you can see how this adds some extra time to your job if you're going to be bidding a job. Bid it to where you're going to plan on uh, having to do this for each one of them. At least that way you've created some cushion for yourself. These locks are extremely durable, extremely reliable. Uh, they're more than adequate for any uh, government application uh, you know they're all grade one hardware and they're designed to have over a hundred thousand cycles uh, when you do these don't forget about the screw right here when you're going to try and pull this off uh, there's always a screw underneath the label right there so just in case you're going to want to know that so we're going to put the latch in it's going to be handed the opposite of what it was from the factory and we're just going to slide that right in there Making sure all of our other holes line up as well. It's going to look something like that. Once you get it on there like that, you're going to pull this backing plate here and the two largest screws in this in the set. And we're going to put that on. And we're going to put these screws right in here. long screws so we'll always do this by hand that way you'll make sure that nothing cross threads test and see that it's working. Okay. So it's working. And yep, apparently. That, that's how it should not be retracting the latch when you set this up. It should turn and not retract the latch. It was set on passage mode when we pulled that apart. It was set on passage mode. Um, you wanna make sure that this lock is always locked and not on passage mode right now during the installation. We can set it on the other way later uh, and test that later, but for right now, then you'll have your piece here. Uh, the bypass thumb turn just clips in with this metal clip, just slides right in, you pop that clip on, and then you can adjust the tail piece to your desired length or you can use the key both of these are pretty much the same thing you can see how long that one was um, like I said I just like to have the thumb turn because most people want less keys not more nowadays so we're going to turn that to line up in there so it lines up correctly 
and then you'll need your threaded cap to go here. That is going to be what holds this plate on from the outside. That's just going to thread right on there by hand as much as you can. And then when we need to, the tool will be available to us. And we can thread. This is the keyed lock. This is uh, the, the changing cylinder up here. So first of all, you're just going to Thread that in there, get it started until the lock starts to set down into the notches. Once it starts to set down into the notches there, you just wind it right up and you're good to go. Just thread it right on there, just like so. Okay, and pick a nice stopping point, pull the key out. Still not working. That's what you did. And then this is what this is designed to do. Designed to fit in one of these holes and then grab and pull as you need it to. So if you come up to one, it's always good to save these little tools. They always come in handy at some point in time. And then we're going to put the knob on right here. side clips. So we've got a little teeny tiny hole right here in this side of the lock. When we're trying to put this knob on you want to reach in there with this little tiny tip right here. Just depress that in. Once you get it depressed all the way it'll clip on like that yeah, and it should stay on. And the inside should always let you out. The inside should always retract the knob like this, and the outside uh, should be locked unless you put it on passage mode. So when I put the code in, then it should retract the code. Or it should retract the latch, just like that, one time. Like that. And then it should only do it once, and then if you Okay, so on the inside, uh, it'll always let, always let you out, and then from the outside, I will only let you in with the code, and you can test it, and you get one entry, and then it's locked again, and the handle just spins. Um, so, you know, the, I don't really like the passage mode feature on these, uh, because sometimes it could get left open. Uh, I mean, it could even get bumped or hang up on some clothing or something, and then it could get left open, and you don't even know it. So if you're going to be putting this on a higher security application, uh, I would use the keyed feature, or um, you know just disable it and just just clip that off to where they can't put it into passage mode in, at all. Uh, and then that way the lock is always locked. It just depends on the application and the amount of security that you need. But that is some of the things that you have to keep in mind with this lock uh, when you add comfort features, uh, sometimes that takes away the security of the lock. Um, but these are great. That's how to do the install. Um, they hold up to the weather good. They hold up to the elements. Cold, snow, we get tons of snow in Colorado, um, and they hold up time after time. These are great for uh, outside, like uh, metal fence gates too. Uh, you have security areas to where you have a, just a, like a chain link fence type thing but it's set up as a gate. You can install one of these locks if it's uh, built to the proper thickness and it, it creates a really nice uh, feature for that too. Uh, you, you get away from the keys, you're able to get some maintenance people to be able to uh, change the combination if you want and um, it's just a really easy simple way to go. Um, and they work out well, so uh, that's how to install them. For more questions or comments, go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com.